Because I feel incensed about this hundred gender thing. Imagine being in the world. Morning, glory. Hello and welcome to Good Morning Glory. The top stories today. The UK puts Spain on a quarantine list despite some questionable statistics. We'll have a good old debate on masks here in the studio. A grand government scheme to get the nation to pop out for dinner and dug with the sport. Our opening story now. The government has imposed a two-week quarantine on travellers returning from Spain to England, whereas Norway, on the other hand, has a ten-day quarantine. God forbid they're making it up as they go along. The quarantine comes into effect after, as the Spanish put it, a localised and contained outbreak in the Catalonia and Aragon region. To put things into numbers, the region of Andalusia, one of Spain's largest regions that covers most of the south, has a population of Wales and Scotland combined at around 8 million. However, the coronavirus cases in that region are between 14 and 15,000 at a rate of 11 cases per 100,000 people. Less cases than both Wales and Scotland on their own at 17 and 18,000 respectively. To put things into perspective, you're more likely to catch the virus after a weekend in Cardiff than you are after a couple of days on the beach in Malaga. Doug Swan has the map. This is Spain. Thanks, Doug. Mask debating. It's the controversial matter at hand. We started mask debating in our own homes. Then we started to mask debate in public. Then on the bus. And now in shops. Even on your own in your own car. Yes, I'm pretty sure we've all come into contact with someone mask debating. Some of you have been tweeting in the show asking our experts for advice regarding the topic using the hashtag mask debating. What have you got, Doug? Thanks, Jim. We have our first message in the hashtag mask debate from A. Lewis, who asks, Why is it okay to be doing this with women now? I got publicly shamed and was cancelled. Now everyone is doing it? Question mark. Does that mean I can resume to masturbate on the phone? Ah... Thanks, at Lewis C.K., though I think you may need to reread what is going on, and I think we may need to change that hashtag. Uh, while I sort that out, back to you, Jim. Eat out to help out. Initially a popular search on adult entertainment sites, but it is instead now a slogan from the government to get the country back into Nando's and McDonald's. They're doing this by offering to foot 50% of the bill up to £10 per person, between Monday and Wednesday in all participating restaurants. In unrelated news, the government is worried about a surge in obesity and is offering to buy bikes on the NHS. Jim Down to Slim Down, however, was deemed too offensive. I'm sorry, what, what was that? I'm, I'm getting... puppets? My God, no! We have word coming through of an ongoing hostage situation. Doug? I'm in a helicopter, and I have word that beloved puppets Orville and Ibu are kidnapped. The puppets are taken by suspected agabactophile, or puppet figler to the layman, Roger Shaw. Zippy, George, and Bungle have known to have escaped, and the cast of Tots TV have marked themselves as safe on Facebook, though we don't believe they were near the area at the time. Any, any word on sooty or sweep? None yet, but we'll make sure you're the first to know as soon as we hear anything, Jim. Thanks, Doug. One second, we have a call coming through. Uh, uh, hello? Hello, this is Jim Dodds with Good Morning Glory. Sweep? Uh, hello? No, it's me, Order. Get to the script. Oh, oh please don't come any closer. We are safe and in good condition. Please, just leave Roger alone, and he promises to give us back after he's done playing with us. What does that mean? Ow! Oh, please, I've been kept in a suitcase for 12 days! Those poor puppets. 
Word is the government have decided to ignore the puppets, please, because they are puppets. The widows of Keith Harris and Rod Hull, original caretakers of the puppets, have started the online movement, hashtag Puppets Lives Matters, to gain awareness. One second, we have another call coming through. Hello, good morning, Glory, with Jim Dodds. Oh, hello, Jim, it's me, Kermit the Frog. Hi, Kermit. What do you have to say on the matter? Oh, well, Jim, we think it's great that these women and the general public as a whole are working together to raise awareness. But honestly, it's not very inclusive to the Muppet and Marionette community. That's why we're starting our own hashtag. All Muppet, Puppet and Marionette Lives Matter! Are you currently under threat of being kidnapped? Well, Sesame Street and Muppet Theater is in a gated community in a pretty gentrified affluent area, so we're not really under much threat of kidnappings. Well, then you can see how you could be distracting from the message that the puppets that are actually are kidnapped. Well, then you can see... I've been meaning to ask, what is the difference between a Muppet and a puppet? Well, great question there, Duck. Well, I think the real answer to that one is... Oh, 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 Elmo know the answer to this Elmo, one. Elmo, I told you to get off the phone, you little shit. Elmo, big fan. And what about ventriloquist dummies? Nobody cares about them. They've got their head further up their ass than someone else's fist. Here at Good Morning Glory, we're in support of hashtag Puppets Lives Matter. Moving swiftly on, Doug has rounded off the season's sport. Doug? For now, tell the world we are Liverpool, champions of England. When you are Liverpool are champions. This is the man they are. Yeah, yeah. What? Oh, is that Pizza Express working? Yeah, do you do that 50% off? That's all here from us at Good Morning Glory. Till next time. Yes, table form, please.